Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Have you ever wanted to review several trend logs at one time? You can do this by creating a multi-trend object to validate your equipment's performance. To set this up, we'll use existing trend logs to assign to the multi-trend. First, we're going to create a multi-trend object by going to the Manage, then Create. Next, we're going to select the multi-trend, Empty. Now we're going to create this multi-trend. We'll call it MAU1 Trend Values. A window comes up that will allow us to identify what trend logs we want to use in the multi-trend. Select the Add button and add the trend logs. It's going to put them in the graph, so we're going to select the color that we want. So we're going to add the outside air temperature trend, and we'll use orange. Now we'll set up the trend and we'll call it 100TL2, and then select OK. Now we'll set up another trend that we'll call 100TL2. Next, we're going to select a different color for it and say OK. We have two trend logs on this multi-trend, and we'll add more trend logs. As you can see, we've added three trend logs to this multi-trend. Each multi-trend can have up to eight trend logs. In addition, you can identify how you want to label your y-axis, which is on the left side of the graph. You can also identify a maximum value and a minimum value. As an example, if you were monitoring a temperature that was always inside the range of 50 to 80 degrees, then I can put my 80 as my maximum and my minimum at 50. Then my values would be all in between that, which would give me a better resolution on the graph. The right axis can also be labeled to provide clarity. You also have the option of entering the minimum value and the maximum value for the right axis. Next, we'll add one more trend log, 100TL4, and it's a binary object. Then we'll select OK. You'll notice that you can also enter a description here to show what this multi-trend represents. We could say this represents the information for MAU1. Now we have four trends assigned. Let's look for the other features of the multi-trend. You can select how you want the data to be seen. It defaults to an eight hour time span. We'll select 30 minutes. Watch how the graph fills up. Now for the past 30 minutes, you'll see that the values have been the same. If I select one hour, here again, they're the same. Let's try four hours. Now we can start to see where our data changes values. This is what we would like to see on the graph where we've been changing values. I can also slide the scale across the bottom to give us more vivid picture of the window. Or I can put it back to where it was at the date and time for today. You'll notice it also has two options here for retrieving this data or saving this data. I could save it as a CSV file format or I can print this chart. Thanks for watching and other tips and tricks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are released. If you'd like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.